The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has forted the Nigerian government's prescription of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, as a terrorist organization. Obi, who spoke why featuring on Channel's TV, said that IPOB was neither a terrorist organization nor was its members terrorists. The Anambra State born businessman and the former governor of the state maintained that Obi that IPOB members did not constitute a threat to the government of Nigeria. Obi said, the only thing I disagree with is naming IPOB terrorists. They are not terrorists. Those who took, to the, who took the decision may have information that I don't have. I stay in our nature. And I can tell you that they are people I pass on the road every day. I met and lived with them. In fact, I usually see people gathering and I have never had a sense of threats or molestation from them, even when they gather. Recall that in January 2017, shortly after the Southeast Governors Forum, led by Iboyin State Governor Dave Umayi, was pressured by the President Muhammad Buhari to ban the activities of IPOP. The Federal High Court in Abuja prescribed IPOP as a terrorist organization. IPOP appeal challenged the ruling, the ex parte judgment, Bo Justice Adu Kafariti prescribing the separatist organization is still pending before an appeal court in Abuja. Justice Kafariti had on September 20, 2017, made the order prescribing IPOP and designating it as a terrorist group upon an SPT application by the AGF and Minister of Justice Mr. Babaka Malami San. The judge had why justify the assurance of the prescription order in chambers following an SPT application was in accordance with the provision of the Terrorism Prevention Act. He said, I heard that the SPT application by the AGF was properly brought. The indigenous people of Biafra can sue and be sued in Nigeria. I so hold. He also heard that the hearing the AGF's motion SPT did not evaluate the group's right to fair hearing, right to fair hearing, right to freedom of assembly, freedom of assembly, and freedom of expression. According to the judge, the procedure adopted by the court in hearing and issuing the ex parte order was as provided for in Section 21 of the Terrorism Preven Prevention Act. He heard that the AGF met all the requirements for the filling of the motion including exhibiting the presidential order prescribing the organization. The motion of the president was attached to the application as exhibit 11A, he wrote. But IPOB had denied the terrorist tag by the Nigerian government. However, Obi in, in the interview backed the claims that members of the group are not terrorists Several Igbo leaders did not share the terrorist tag on IPOB by the federal government. Meanwhile, security agents have killed several Igbo youths and hundreds disappeared without trace since 2017 under the pretext that IPOB was an unlawful organization. Hmm. So guys, what's your take? The presidential candidate of Labour Party Peter Obi has forted the Nigerian government's prescription of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, as a terrorist organization. Obi, who spoke why featuring on Chinese TV, said that IPOB was neither a terrorist organization nor was its members terrorists. The Anambra state born businessman and the former governor of the state maintained that IPOB, IPOB members did not constitute a threat to the country. Nigeria. Obi said, the only thing I disagree with is naming IPOB terrorists. They are not terrorists. Those who took the decision may have information that I don't have. 
I stay in Onitsha and I can tell you that they are people I pass on the road every day. I might and live with them. In fact, I usually see people gathering and I have never had the sense of threat or molestation from them, even when they gather. Record that in January 2027, shortly after the Southeast Governors Forum led by Ibuin State Governor Dave Umai, was pressured by the President Muhammadu Buhari to ban the activities of IPOB. The Federal High Court in Abuja prescribed IPOB as a terrorist organization. IPOB appeal, challenging the ruling and the expertise judgment, Boa Justice Karen Fati prescribing the separatist organization is still pending before an appeal court in Abuja. Justice Karen Fati had on September 20, 2017, made the order prescribing IPOB and designating it as a terrorist group upon an SPT application by the AGF and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San. The judge had why justifying the assurance of the prescription order in chambers following, the, following an SPT application was in accordance with the provision of the Terrorism Prevention Act. He said, I hold that the S party application by the AGF of the the AGF was properly brought. The indigenous people of Biafra can sue and be sued in Nigeria. I so hold. Meanwhile, or however, Obi in the interview backed the claims that members of the group are not terrorists. Several Igbo leaders did not share the terrorist tag on IPOB by the federal government of Nigeria. Security agencies have killed several Igbo youth and hundreds disappeared without trace since 2017 under the pretext that IPOB was an unlawful organization. So guys,